ओके दीज लाइन आर रिप्रेजेंटिंग द फ्लो हेयर कैन यू सी द फील्ड स्प्रेडिंग आउट हाई सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कवर द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ डायवर्जेंस बट दिस वीडियो इज नॉट ट्रेडिशनल एवरी एग्जाम्पल every equation will be explained to you by the means of working model and also this is not a single video i have made a whole playlist on vector calculus from the perspective of a physicist that means everything contains working in 3d models as well so let's start so what is the divergence of a vector field now there is a simplest definition of divergence which states how much the vector field v or the vector v spreads out or diverges from the point in question see uh, usually this sentence is taken so much lightly right but because of this sentence i suffered one month or more than a month that will be explained in my next research video but let us stick to the topic now how much the vector field v spreads out okay so this is the thing which is divergence let's start analyzing so here i have a vector field okay so this is one vector field so what do you think what is the divergence is the field spreading out can you see the field spreading out first of all uh, see divergence can be positive divergence can be zero divergence can be negative which essentially means divergence can be uh, field can spread out it cannot spread out or it is uh, inverse like spread, uh, field is not spreading out it is uh, going to some point i will explain it to you just a wait just wait for a few seconds so in this case we can clearly see that field is spreading out now what is the meaning of the word spreading out spreading out essentially means if there are two lines in the input section consider a block for example there is an two lines are entering into input section and three lines are coming outward so is this vector field spreading yes because input was two output is three so there is some spread but instead consider Uh, consider there are four lines into input and three are just coming out so is the vector field spreading no it is not spreading but it has lost one vector so basically the divergence will be negative in the same way if there are four uh, lines entering and four lines coming out then divergence would be zero so in the same way if we analyze this vector field we can see this vector field is spreading out okay and that spreading out is constant because it is a symmetric vector field so yes there is a divergence in this vector field and that divergence is also positive even at this point you will say there is a field spreading out in this direction and all this direction because see there are lines here itself this is a vector line this is a vector line and this is also a vector line so what is the equation of this vector field so the equation of vector field is x plus y okay so this is the equation of the vector field x i k plus y j k let us try to calculate its divergence divergence is mathematically defined as the dot product of the del operator with the function okay so here i will uh, try to take out a dot dot product so here it is x i k plus y j k so in dot product i j k vanishes so what what i am left over is dx d by dx of x plus d by dy of y so this is one this is one and this gives me two so yes this vector field has a positive divergence which is two so not only we can see the divergence through the vector field but also we can calculate them mathematically but most of the time in most of the colleges universities or whatever you say we are just limited to these equations we do not usually see such vector field okay so let us consider a second example now so again this is my second vector field what can you predict what is your prediction what can be the divergence is the field spreading out or it is doing its inverse okay so clearly we can see field is not spreading out it is not going to some infinity plane it is not going anywhere right it is just coming backward so it is negative divergence okay it is not spreading out if in input there are five lines in output there is only one line if in input there is one line in output there is nothing so basically this is the example when the divergence is negative okay so here we have some negative divergence and also the divergence is constant throughout the field because again if you see this field it is a symmetric field okay so this field is represented by the equation minus x i cap minus y j cap so let us calculate its divergence. divergence now so del dot f and i have this this was my equation okay so if i calculate its uh, dot product so simply i can say that it would be minus 1 minus 1 which will give me minus 2 basically del by del x of minus x i cap not i cap 
plus del by del y of minus y j cap i j will vanish because of dot product so this is minus one this is minus one and i get the answer as minus two this was here plus two so yes we can see everything from the perspective of physics as well and this is the intention behind this playlist vector calculus do not forget to share with your teachers as well not only friends but teachers as well let's see the third example so what can you predict about this example what is the divergence in this vector field okay so can you say it is positive divergence or you can say it is negative divergence what do you think five four three two what do you think so yes it has zero divergence because see there is nothing such as spreading out or spreading inwards everything is just rolling in the same plane if there is there are two lines entering in this phase there are two lines coming out of this phase see divergence is zero definitely flow is there flow is there but the divergence is zero okay these lines are representing the flow here but you see there is no input as such okay if there are four lines in this plane there are four lines in this plane see the number of lines and the magnitude of these lines through which i am rolling is constant if i roll in a similar plane okay if i roll in concentric circles okay so this field has zero divergence because nothing as such is rolling okay if four lines are entering in at a particular point four lines are coming out of it okay just they have a tilted direction nothing else so minus y i cap plus x j cap if i try to calculate this divergence of this i will get minus one here because there uh, no 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 i will not get minus one del by del x of minus y cap plus del by del y of x cap this is zero this is zero so divergence of this equation is also zero so this was about positive divergence this is about negative divergence this is about zero divergence can you predict what will be the divergence of this field so definitely you can do this by mathematics you can calculate the divergence del by del x1 so definitely you will get the zero divergence because it is a constant vector field okay constant vector field as if this is a constant vector field okay there is no change everything is symmetric everything is mirror image of another one another this is also a constant vector field again here also the divergence would be zero but let us see the graph of that equation so this is my vector field in which x coordinate is one you can see there is no input no output everything is same okay everything is going in a line see the magnitude of my curve this is see the magnitude of these uh, lines everything is constant at every point in space so yes divergence is of course zero now let us now let us look at this plane what can you predict about this plane is this graph is is this vector field is having a positive divergence is this vector field having negative divergence what can you predict about this plane okay so what do you think so this vector field is not uniform first of all okay this vector field is not uniform fine this is a, not a uniform vector field uh, divergence will be changing for example here it is negative divergence see inward influx uh, fluid going inside is more than the fluids come in fluid coming outside so there is no such thing as more material is spread out so here there is negative divergence again till here also divergence is negative four lines are inside four are outside okay so here divergence is different here divergence is different here divergence is in this direction here it is this direction see at every point in space divergence is differing okay so these vector fields are called as variable vector fields and here divergence vary from point to point see at this point divergence is completely zero okay so the vector equation for this field is it is x square minus y square if so if i try to calculate the vector field what i will get is if i calculate try to calculate the divergence what i will get it 2x plus 2y so this is my divergence you can see it is variable it will depend upon the points and the coordinates of x and y and that is what we saw in the last slide so in this way i hope you have understood the concept of divergence from the perspective of a physicist from a perspective of a person who likes to study things from the models of course everyone likes to study things from the perspective of models but yes that was all about the divergence now let us do some little formality by completing the divergence theorem okay so consider i have a fluid okay and uh, fluid is represented by some vector function say f okay and i want to calculate a volume divergence around a small point but i cannot find or i cannot find some uh, that easy uh, to calculate around the point so let us consider point to be a cube okay suppose i have zoom uh, zoomed in into it 
So let us say my fluid is flowing across x axis. Okay, my fluid is flowing across x axis. So if it is flowing across x axis, then my vector function will deal with only x coordinate. My vector field will only only consent only be concerned with f x. Okay. So suppose my fluid is entering through this face of the cube. Okay. So my vector function will be f x. But what we want to what we can notice here, see what is this volume element? So this volume element is dy multiplied by dz see this surface of the cube has some volume in dy which is this this is dy and this is dz okay and uh, let's see so what is the field entering through s1 it is some random vector f1x times the volume element and what is the field coming out through s2 so again it is some random element f2x and the volume element i hope you understood the concept of volume element okay volume of this cube is across y axis because this is my y and is across the z axis okay so what will be the rate of change of vector field along the x axis so of course it is the derivative that means my fluid is entering is f1x the fluid which is coming out is f2x so definitely something has changed so change is always calculated by derivative and derivative across this route from this to this point. So this is my dead derivative. But what would be my output flux? See output flux would be first what was initial thing like if this is my box and this is my output. So what will be my output flux? So definitely it will depend on what has entered inside. So that is f1x times dy dz which I wrote here. Okay plus the derivative while the object was passing through the surface of that cube so that is this derivative okay since the dx was constant so this is uh, not constant it is a volume element because now we are crossing through dx and let us try to uh, calculate what is final minus initial so this is my final term this is my initial term right as i had wrote previously so this this will get cancelled so i will be left over with this so this was the net contribution from the x-axis if my vector field is flowing through the x-axis. I have ignored y and z intentionally but let us now see what happens when the fluid flows through y-axis. So definitely I will get this thing because everything is symmetric. What will happen when my fluid flows through z-axis? So again I will get a similar thing because everything in physics is symmetric. So what is the net change? Net change is the addition of all three. But can I write this equation as this equation? Because i cap or i cap will get cancelled or it will be 1, j and j will get cancelled, k and k will get cancelled. Oh, just wait a second. Isn't this the equation of divergence which I get? So yes, this is the proof of the divergence. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, this is the responsibility of you to share this video to every student as well as teacher as well. I had taken 25 days to create two videos which are divergence and curl. Uh, please respect my efforts as well. Uh, yeah, uh, subscribing is a one thing but what matters more is the uh, sharing perspective. Okay, so let this video reach every individual who needs to understand this concept from the perspective of a physicist. So see you in the next video of Vector Calculus.